Buckle up, people. Today, we are diving into a topic that has become more and more relevant with every passing day, communism and the modern leftist politics that have been creeping their way and subverting their way into our world for decades. We are talking socialism, redistribution of wealth, and the death of nations as we know them. Let me be clear, communism in all its forms is the death of nations, and if we keep going down this path, the modern world is in serious danger. All right, let's start with a little history lesson. Communism as an ideology promises equality, shared wealth, and a utopia where no one is left behind. Sounds good, right? But here's the reality. Every time it's been tried, every single time, it ends in disaster. Look at the Soviet Union. Look at Mao's China. Look at modern China. Look at Venezuela. Every single time a nation has gone all in on communism or hardcore socialism, it's led to economic collapse, authoritarian regimes, and untold suffering for the people that live there. In the USSR, millions starved to death because of state-controlled farming and failed economic policies. In Mao's China, the Cultural Revolution and the Great Leap Forward led tens of millions of people, maybe hundreds of millions, to their deaths. And Venezuela, one of the wealthiest nations in South America, is now a crumbling failed state under the weight of socialist policies with inflation skyrocketing and people struggling to afford basic necessities. That's the track record death, and starvation. Now, after hearing that, there still might be some idiots out there thinking, but those are extreme examples. That's not what's happening here. Well, think again. Modern leftist politics, whether it's called democratic socialism, progressivism, or any other catchy term, are just softer versions of the same failed ideology. We're seeing it more and more. Calls to redistribute wealth, nationalize industries, and centralize power under the government. Because if history has taught us anything, it's that giving more power to the government and trusting them to manage everything always works out, right? Wrong. One of the biggest problems with socialism is that it kills innovation. Why? Because when you take away the incentives for people to work hard, innovate, and succeed, they stop trying. When everything is equal and everyone gets the same rewards regardless of effort, what's the point of pushing yourself to achieve more? Why would you work harder if the person next to you who's doing the bare minimum gets the same paycheck or benefits as you? Socialism rewards mediocrity and punishes ambition. It creates a society where people are dependent on the state for everything, rather than relying on their own abilities and hard work to improve their lives. It's a system that stifles creativity, destroys personal responsibility, and ultimately leads to economic stagnation and disaster. Still don't believe me? Here's another thing socialism does. It destroys the middle class. In a capitalist society, the middle class is the backbone of the economy. It's where the most jobs are created, where people start businesses, buy homes, invest in their communities, and build wealth. But when socialist policies take over, the middle class is the first to suffer. Why? Because in order to fund all these government programs and handouts, you have to tax the middle class into oblivion. The rich always find ways to protect their wealth, and the poor are often the beneficiaries of these programs, if anyone's a beneficiary at all. So who's left footing the bill? The people in the middle who work hard, pay taxes, and try to make a better life for themselves and their families and their communities. Let's just talk about the promise of equality for a second here. The left loves to talk about equality, how socialism will make everything fair and just. But here's the truth. Equality under socialism doesn't mean everyone is equally successful or equally wealthy. It means everyone is equally miserable. It drags everyone down to the lowest common denominator rather than lifting people up to their full potential. Under socialism, the only people who benefit are the ones in power. The government elites who control the wealth and resources, they live well, while the average citizen suffers. The promise of equality is a lie. What socialism really creates is a system of government control and dependency, where people are equal only in their lack of opportunity and freedom. Now let's bring it back to what's happening today in our world. Modern leftist policies, especially in places like the United States, are pushing more and more for socialist policies, free college, universal health care, guaranteed basic income. These all sound great on paper, but what they don't tell you is how they're going to pay for it all and what it's going to do to the economy in the long run. These aren't free programs. Someone has to pay for them, and that someone is you. It's the taxpayers, the middle class, the average workers, and the businesses. You. 
And the more we head in this direction, the closer we get to a tyrannical system where the government controls every aspect of our lives, from healthcare to education to our jobs. You are born, you are taught what to think, and you work for the state. That's not freedom. That is tyranny. Socialism doesn't just destroy economies, it destroys nations. It erodes national sovereignty as governments become more centralized and powerful. It takes away individual freedoms because when the government controls everything, they decide how you live and when you die. They control what you do, what you earn, what you can and cannot say, and even what you think. All of it's up to them. So let me ask you, is that the future we want, a future where we're all dependent on the state, where our choices are made for us, where the individual no longer matters? Because that's where modern leftist politics are leading us. So here's the bottom line. Communism and socialism have failed every single time they've been tried. They've led to the destruction of nations, economies, and individual freedoms, and ended people's lives. If we don't push back against modern leftist politics that have been subverting our way of life for decades, we're heading down the same path. We're seeing it already. Higher taxes, more government control, less freedoms for the individual. It's time to wake up. We need to fight for individual liberty, for free markets, and for an individual's responsibility and right to lead their own lives how they want to, because those are the things that have built the modern world, and they're the only things that will keep it standing. Let's not repeat the mistakes of the past. The death of nations is a choice. Let's make the right one. Stop falling for the false promises of free stuff. Something given has no value. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you think that leftist policies and socialism will be the destruction of the American dream, hit the like button and share this video. Let me know down in the comments how you see all of this playing out in today's world. And I don't always say this, but subscribe because I'm just getting started.